welcome to our second episode of Two Kids with Beats. I'm Abigail, and this is Bethany, and today we will be reviewing Black Panther Wakanda Forever. So Bentley, what did you think of this? You know what I think? I think Ryan Coogler is messed up. What are you doing? Why do you want kids to cry? What normal person would want kids to cry? You know that there are kids in the aunts, in the audience. I think Ryan Coogler is all evil. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> let's let's just take a minute for him. Why? Are you all right to continue now? Yes, and the most upsetting part of the movie was the death of Chadwick Boseman. But they didn't recast him, so the movie had to deal with the death of King T'Challa and Black Panther, and the repercussion of the world now knowing that Wakanda has vibranium. Also, they introduced us to a new character, Namor. He was introduced to us in comics in the year 1939, two years before Aquaman. So, Aquaman is basically a Namor ripoff? Not really, but... He was the first comic book anti-hero. Oh, but we can all agree Aquaman is a better name, right? Yeah. The movie showed us really good at how each character dealt with the death of King T'Challa and how to continue their character development. I also thought that it was the best acting we've seen in a movie this year. I agree, but of course that may also be because some people don't let us watch we rated R movies. To keep going. They really do a great job of give, getting the costumes together and bringing us into Wakanda culture. I agree. I think I know more about Wakanda than any other country. I really want to visit there. I really like the music in that movie. Yeah, I agree. I really like the new Rihanna song, Lift Me Up. Most Marvel movies don't really have that. Now for the part the parents need to know. Language. The first couple words on the list, they were in there a couple times. There weren't any ickies. Violence. There was violence in the water, on land, and in the air. But it's alright. To this movie. Even though Ryan Coogler is evil, yes they should, and they almost have to because it's important to understand the MCU. Yeah, and it's important for next year's Disney Plus show, Iron Heart. What did you think of the special effects? I thought they were really good. That's one of the reasons why you should take your kids to go see it on the big screen. But Ryan Coogler, you are you are number two in my arch nemesis list. Is my dad still number one? Of course! So, Abigail, do you think it'd be appropriate to assume that this movie was amazing? Of course. But now we have to decide where to put the Black Panther franchise on our superhero scale. I say it's going to move up a few spots. Like one, like, one ahead of the Captain America franchise and one behind the Iron Man trilogy. Do you agree? Yeah. So much for watching this episode of Two Kid Reviews Black Panther Wakanda Forever. So you better like and subscribe. And see you next time.